let's talk about the key components of high quality CPR. You'll want to do your compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute. Compressions should be at a depth of at least two inches for an adult. Be sure to allow for full chest recoil between compressions to allow the heart to fill with blood, maintaining effective circulation. You want to rotate compressors after two minutes of continuous compressions or sooner if the compressor gets fatigued. You want to minimize interruptions during chest compressions to ensure continuous blood flow is getting to those vital organs. Next is to create a firm seal over the nose and mouth by placing the bag valve mask securely over the patient's nose and mouth. You want to deliver breaths while watching for that visible chest rise. And you always want to use closed loop communication. This ensures everyone is on the same page and helps prevent miscommunication and errors. That's all for high quality CPR. Happy studying future nurses.